Hi, uh, and welcome to this really short introductory video where I want to introduce you guys to a project that just came out two weeks ago and that I'm super excited about, especially given the times that we're living. I don't know when are you watching this video, but as of this recording, um, we're still in quarantine life and I spent a lot of time in front of video call meetings. So um, I thought that showing you a way to like spice in those uh, video meetings a little bit up uh, could be a cool thing to do right now. And I want to introduce you to Memix. It's a Windows application that just came out a couple of weeks ago. It's done by the authors of Shader Toy, which is also one of the coolest projects on the internet right now. Um, Shader Toy is an online repository of open source shaders. And shaders are basically a, a programming language that you can use to write how to render pixels on a screen and how to render textures on a screen. Um, what's interesting about this project is that it allows you to take your webcam feed and pass it on through one of these shader filters to give it effects. So change the colors, add some geometry, some form, whatever, and then create a virtual webcam on your system that is using that filter image. So I'm going to show a quick demo here. So right now uh, I am on a Zoom application here. I'm on a Zoom meeting that is streaming right now. And you can see that right now I have my Memix application, which has created a virtual webcam here called Memix. And this webcam is taking input from a real webcam that I have here on my desktop, but is passing that image through a filter. So for example, here I have summer, I have compliments, I have, um, I have focus, I have black and white, I have pixelation, and I have glitchy transmission. This is kind of my favorite. But the coolest thing is that it can be configured also here on the custom one. It can be configured to write your own shader language, uh, which we will do in part two of this video. So I would like to show you how to, first on part one, we're going to show, I'm going to show you just how to install this and run it on your system. And then in part two, I'm going to explain the super, super basics of shader language. And then I'm going to tinker a little bit with, um, with the custom filter here in Memix so that you can write perhaps your own shaders and, and jump on, <laughs> on video conference meetings with this kind of, um, this kind of funny, I don't know. I just get really bored on Zoom meetings, on Zoom meetings sometimes, so I like to spice it up a little bit. So um, stay tuned with me, and I'm going to show you how to install this and then how to customize it. Okay. Okay. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Memix uh, website, which is at memix.app, and you can see here like a preview of the kind of filters that you can implement by default. And installation is going to be super easy. I'm sorry about this, but as of right now, uh, I'm recording this uh, tutorial on, um, I think it's May 15th, 2020. So um, as of right now, this is only available for Windows users. Uh, so installing this is just as easy as clicking download. And then you're going to be prompt to download this file uh, somewhere on your, on your, on your system. And I have, um, I have a file here that I downloaded before. So as of right now, uh, we are on version 1.1. So I think that if you see this video in the future, hopefully like things will have evolved and like a lot of the features, uh, will be much better. But basically you just double click here, you hit install, you agree to the terms and you will have installed I already have it in my system, so I'm not going to go through that. Um, but basically, you will have this installed in your system. Um, and that's pretty much it. You don't really need to have a menu or you really have you don't really need to to have anything else going on. And the next thing that we're going to do is, uh, in order to turn it on, what you need is to just activate any video conference system or basically anything that wants to um, to ping your webcam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a zoom call um, just with myself. Okay. And you can see that my zoom call right now is here. So my zoom call is I have a zoom call here just with myself. 
And the Zoom call is drawing from a second webcam that I have here on my desk, not the one that I'm using for the stream right there, but another one. So I have two webcams on my system right now. And you can see that I'm in front of Chrome screen because I'm doing this stream right now, okay? So my Zoom call is streaming right now from in a pro and an a Logitech Pro webcam that I have sitting here on my desk. Okay, but you can see that on my system, another webcam has shown up here that is called the Memix 32. What's nice about Memix is that it creates a virtual webcam, not a real one, but it creates a virtual one on your system that is going to fetch the stream from a real webcam, but it's going to pass that image through the shader filter that you're going to choose. And then that's what is going to output to whichever video conference system you're using. So that's the reason why this system works for Zoom, Google Hangouts, uh, Skype, or basically anything that takes live feed from a webcam, okay? So what you're going to see now is that I'm gonna choose Memix 32. And as I do, somewhere I am getting this, yeah, this menu, just this UI just popped up, okay? So whenever you activate the Memix 32 uh, webcam, uh, the UI pops up and it gives you the options to choose between the filters that you can apply. So for example, right now I have it in normal, so it's making no changes to my video here, but then I can go, for example, to typical Instagram color changing filters, like for example, summer, and then I can apply and then you can see that my webcam feed, my zoom, is now has like a like a fade out, like a die out kind of mm, kind of. Uh, so I can I can go to winter compliments. I can beautify myself. So for example, I'm going to apply this, and yeah, I see maybe I'm a little less wrinkly. <laughs> maybe I don't know. Uh, I can focus, for example. So. You see, uh, and now it's blurry on the, you see how blurry it is on this area here, but it's a bit sharper on the center. All right, I can do vignettes. So I can have like the corners be darker. I can do a simple black and white. We will code how to do this manually. That's gonna be super cool. Or I can start doing a bit more fancy things. For example, I can do like 8-bit distortion kind of situation. I can pixelize myself. 8-bit, 8-bit, robot, robot. <laughs> I can go old school. You see? Can you guys see the texturing of like the, the film texturing kind of situation here? And probably this is my favorite. This is one that I've actually been using. It's called Transmission and it gives you like a glitch kind of um, static with also like a little bit of chromatic distortion on the, on the, on the edges. This is so, so cool. Uh, you can zoom in. <laughs> uh, I think, and then it has like some, some fancy like rain or bubbles. Uh, this is more like Snapchat, Instagram kind of situation, right? Uh, has this circle, so you can totally just not, uh, you can apply like more like Technotron kind of, um, kind of background situation. I can switch to, I can use a green screen on top of this um, if I want, because I have, I have my green screen down here. Ooh, see my mug. <laughs> um, and then I can just, oh, I'm not right. I'm not here right now. I'll be right back at some point, you know, or I can just defocus myself, completely burn myself out and or I can apply a custom filter. Um, right now, the custom filter has this sort of like whirly distortion effect kind of thing. But this is where all the coolness lies because this custom filter can be configured um, with your own shader language, with your own shader parameters. And that is exactly what we're going to do in the next video that I'm going to explain, okay? so. Again, quick recap, if, if you wanna spice up a little bit of your quarantine life or your Zoom, your meetings, whatever, you can, you can install Memix, it's free. Um, so as of right now, so you can install Memix and you can create a virtual webcam 
so that uh, you can fetch. Oh, I forgot to say here, you can click and you can choose which feeds you are going to be taken from. So right now I'm taken from the webcam that is sitting right here on top of my desk. But I have um, the webcam that I'm using for the live stream. Uh, I have the webcam that's running on my laptop and I have other virtual webcams that I've been tinkering with lately as well. Um, so, so yeah, so if you want to spice up a little bit your, your video conference life, make sure to check this out. Uh, it's really cool. <laughs> and if you're nerdy like me and you want to, you want to go, you want to walk the extra mile, uh, come and join me in the next video, which will show up a link will show up somewhere here on the screen where I'm going to explain how to customize the custom filter and how to write your own shader language filters and, uh, and use them. Okay. I'm also going to explain how to, how to be inspired by other people's shaders and apply them to the custom shader. Okay. So I don't know where I'm looking at anymore. See you in a second video. See you in the second video. <laughs> See you in the second video. Bye-bye. <laughs>